Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. It's a cute little post-it note holder. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. Here's our supplies for today's project. Let's see. Now, pool party. Where's my cheat sheet? Uh, three and a quarter by six and seven eighths. And I've gone ahead and cut out the Hippo and Friends shape here. That's pool party as well. And then we've got Poppy Parade. This is a scallop circle that measures approximately two and a quarter. And then a Whisper White circle that measures approximately one and seven eighths. So that's gonna layer on top of there. Then we've got the Pattern Party. This is the host paper. Um, and it measures three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And then we've got some whisper, no, basic white <laughs> uh, for stamping. Okay, so we're gonna start with stamping first. Like I said, we're using the Turtle Friends bundle. I may need more basic white than what I have out here. We'll see. So cute. We're going to stamp happy birthday on this little strip. Now, if I'm not successful, I'm just going to use uh, the other piece and then I'll just trim it with my trimmer. Oh, pretty good. And then we're going to stamp the little bow with Poppy Parade ink. Now normally I say use our Stampin' Mat when you're using photopolymer stamp sets. For some reason, this one doesn't really need it. Um, yeah, a lot of them do, but this one doesn't, so. Now I'm gonna take the, um, oh. <laughs> some of y'all are just joining in. Hello, good evening. Okay, um, I'm gonna take the Granny Apple Green Light Stampin' Blend Marker and I'm going to color him. Now we're gonna be using Granny Apple Green and this image, ooh, I think I need to clean that. Oh, that's a, I had used this earlier with Old Olive and I'm gonna use uh, granny apple green for this one. So we'll be doing that in a minute, okay? It has been raining here for a couple days now. Our yard is like a marsh. I know, why did I go from the body to the face? I have no idea. <laughs> I gotta use the smaller one now for the face. His head looks a little bit like uh, a little dinosaur head, which I kind of think turtles sometimes do look like little dinosaurs.
Okay, now we're gonna take this, and I better bring it over here so I can see it. And then I'm gonna take the punch and cut it out. And I wanna make sure I get it right. The first time I used it, I had too much white in one area. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Uh, is there a way to get a deal if you purchased every color marker? Lori, are you talking about the Stampin' Blend markers or the Stampin' Write markers? If you're talking about the Stampin' Blend, sadly, no. Okay, hold on, my eyes are going blurry for a second. Yes, you have to fussy cut the little bow out, but it's not too difficult. And then this one here, let's see, we're gonna cut. And then, I can't remember which way I cut this. So I'm going to take this pool party cardstock, and again, this measures three and a quarter. Oh, you know what? Let's actually cut it to the to the, the to the correct measurements. Um, three and a quarter by six and seven eighths. So it already measures three and a quarter, correct? Yes. And then we need to cut it to measure six and seven eighths. Now we're going to score it at three and a quarter and three and five eighths. Now we're going to take the Pattern Party Designer Series Paper, and we're going to add it right there. I did not go on the trip, uh, Kimberly. I did earn it, but last year when we had to make the decision of whether or not we were going to go, who knew that I would be vaccinated by now? Um, yeah, we didn't have any confidence that I was gonna, we were gonna be vaccinated. So we're like, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, although I have to say that it, it is a little bit kind of breaking my heart seeing all the pictures from all the other demonstrators. But this is not the first trip that I've missed with Stampin' Up. In fact, I think I've missed more than I've gone on. Um, I do have to put my family and myself first. Um, Sometimes that's not fun, but it is what it is. So no, I did not go. And I have been really sad all weekend seeing all, all the pictures, um, but I'm a big girl. I can handle it. <laughs> Maybe next year. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take, oh, let me show you what goes inside here. Post-it notes. So we're making a post-it note holder. So I don't wanna leave um, these post-it notes in here forever because you guys don't wanna know how many post-it note holders I already have. So I'm just using my removable adhesive and I'm gonna add these inside here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pool party sheer ribbon I'm so behind on getting videos over there and on my blog. I'm, 
I'm just oh, cutting paper and shipping stuff and yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit drowning. I got so much to do. Okay, there's that. Now, oh, come here. I'm gonna take two dimensionals, one here and one here, and I'm gonna add this piece there. I prefer putting them on the front of the post-it note holder so that way I don't accidentally get it stuck on the ribbon. And I'm just gonna center this. And then now this one's gonna get attached to that one. So just some liquid glue. Same thing, just add some liquid glue. <laughs> now, um, we're gonna pop this one up. I think we only need one, yeah. Now for the greeting, we're gonna add that down here and we're gonna use the mini dimensionals. So the mini dimensionals, uh, don't pop it up as high. And now we have to add the little bow and that's gonna get added with some liquid glue. Preferably just a little dot. There we go. It's so tiny. I need to master those little plier thingies. I'm using the take your pick tool to slide it up to get it exactly where I want it. And then I'll press. And now we have some bling. So we're gonna add rhinestones. Isn't it so cute? How could you not smile at this gift? So we're gonna put a little rhinestone in the middle of her bow, and then we're gonna add one down here, and one over here. <laughs> I love seeing the hearts, thank you. I feel the same way. I could just make so many projects Okay, so here she is, and here is the other one I made. Now let me share the differences. Um, this one is made with Poppy Parade and Granny Apple Green. This one is made with Old Olive and Real Red. So I like the Poppy Parade better. It's a little springier. Um, yeah, it's a little springier. <laughs> but either way, they're both really cute, right? So yeah, it's a post-it note holder. Okay, see y'all later. Thank you.